Hey guys, still have sports here. It's my day off, kicking back in the office. Shoved all the crap to the side, and I was thinking, you know, something happened, and I ended up with uh, an additional junk trunk. I just checked on my site, and it said I was sold out. Um, and I figured I could try to sell it. I can try to move it, but uh, why not just open it myself? I want to join in on the fun. I want to complain when I don't get massive, multiple hundreds of dollars of value out of out of a box that the person who makes it is barely scraping by. I want to join in, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to open it. If somebody wanted it, I'm sorry, but... um. Episode 3 is going to be announced soon, in the next few days. You'll have a chance to get another one. Get the stuff out of the way. Ugh. Honestly, if I get anything big out of this, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be pissed. I'm not just saying that. I'm going to be upset. I hope I don't have the bonus pack, which I don't. I see the sport flicks there, so that's a good start. I do not... I do not want anything good out of this. I truly, I truly want you guys to get the good stuff. And I feel like we've gotten kind of unlucky so far. I know some people complaining kind of tongue-in-cheek. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these open before, you're in for a rotten treat. It looks tasty, but it's not. So here's the menu. I'm not going to read my own writing. That seems... Vein. It seems strange. But I'll kind of keep this over here as a reference for myself because I'm no expert. We're going to start off with the 1990 Upper Deck Low Series. Looking for Sammy Sosa, Juan Gonzalez, John Ulrude, or Larry Walker. Out of those, I think I would prefer the um, Larry Walker. I really like how these Upper Deck packs open. I actually did not open any of the packs from uh, Series 1. So this is cool. I, I'm opening a lot of these for the first time. I'm also looking for some... Uh, nice. I'm also looking for some goofy cards. Always looking for goofy cards in my PC. Um, that's a pretty goofy card and a Hall of Famer, so I think we're off to a banging start. Craig. Okay. Hopefully this is no indication... What what is going on here? This is like the best possible pack ever. Full of Hall of Famers and goofy cards. Sticker Mets. Billy Hatcher. I'm gonna try to go quick through these. Nobody wants to see me pulling my junk for very long. David Wells, Boomer Wells. He's pretty good. Okay. You know, you guys. John Olaru rookie. So you guys not hitting any of the listed cards. You guys just aren't trying hard enough. I sit, That better be the best card I pull out of this. 1990 Fleer. Frank Thomas, Juan Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, David Justice, Omar Vizquel. Um Frank Thomas is not in this. That, that was a mistake. It was not... Uh, I was not purpose purposely misleading anybody, but he's not in this. Yankees action series. I, what's the point of these? I don't get it. All right, let's go. Brett Saberhagen, Carmelo Martinez, Steve Balboni, Rick Roden, Jim Abbott, Dave Steve, Dave Parker, Dave Parker, Steve Jeltz. Nice. Steve Jeltz. This is uh, this is going pretty good so far. I guess I'll put that aside. Shout out to Pepino Man. Shout out to Tripod. Mike Flanagan. John Smiley. Kirby Puckett, just loaded with Hall of Famers so far. Jay Bell and Gene Harris. Many of these cards came out from before I was alive, so I'm not going to be an expert in them or in the cards that came out after I was born. So in contrast to Upper Deck, these, I don't like the way that these open. It's like kind of gross. It's kind of like slimy feeling. 
So this is 1991 score series two Chipper Jones, and then of course I'm looking for the Mickey Mantle auto, which is definitely a possibility. Andre Dawson, Frank Viola, Ozzie Smith, Juan Gonzalez, Kirk Gibson, Randy Johnson, No Hit Club, Melito Perez, Tom Lampkin, Ed Gomez. World Series 1979. Edgar Diaz, Rick Reed, Dill, Mahork, Adam Peterson. Okay, so we did not get one of the hits there. So that's great. I don't want too many hits. A lot of Hall of Famers, though. 1991 Upper Deck High Series. This one uh, has Chipper Jones, Mike Messina, Jeff Bagwell, Michael Jordan, short print, Hank Aaron, autograph. Um, I really want, as a White Sox fan, I really want that Michael Jordan short print. I've been kind of looking to pick up one of those myself, and I just haven't. Um, Mike Blowers, Chuck Malone, Tim Nairing, Eddie Zasky, Terry Mulholland, Steve Farr, Jose Mesa, Brent Knackert, Mike Boddicker, Gerald Perry, Franklin Stubbs, Scott Bradley. All right, so this is more kind of in line with uh, a lot of you guys opening these. Joe Bitker, Gary Templeton, and Sandy Elmar, I think. Sandy Elmar. And the Twins 3D logo. Um, so first impressions actually opening one of these. I'm having a great time, and I would definitely be interested in opening another one of these. And I'm definitely not going to complain. You know what I mean? I'm not going to complain about what I get. This is the um, 1990 score. So Frank Thomas is in this. Juan Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams, Mo Vaughn, Bo Jackson, shoulder pads card. This, these are Super ugly. Flanagan, Vance Law, Jim Abbott, again. Like this 3D thing. Sport flicks, just like the next pack I'm going to open. Tyler Houston, Zane Smith, Walt Terrell, Bobby Witt, Larry Sheets, Dennis Rasmussen, Fred Lynn, Ricky Henderson, Jeff Montgomery, Chuck Finley, Sandy Elmer Jr., again, two packs in a row, Milt Coiler. Mm, it's bordering on Goofy. I'll allow it. Mike Huff. Uh, so the next pack, I actually screwed up. Besides making this product to begin with, I actually screwed up in the product description of this one. This one actually does have, I say, um, no one's in it. They're in 3D or whatever. Who cares? Totally awesome, dude. But these actually do have um, an A-Rod rookie in them, and I forgot to put that in. It was like my joke was kind of a placeholder, and then I forgot. So an A-Rod... Rookie in this would be pretty sweet, actually. So there's going to be a lot of people you've never heard of because these are kind of like the traded set or whatever. These are sport flicks traded. Jorge Fabregas, I believe he played for the White Sox at some point. I remember him as a kid. Tony Eusebio. These are pretty cool. Although that's like kind of a kind of a boring... I thought these were like motion things, like things happening, but I highly doubt that he just like... Had his mask and glove just evaporate. All right, let's go. Sean Green, rookie. That's sweet. Um, famous for hitting four home runs in a game for the Dyers. Darren Jackson. Nice. He's a color commentator for the White Sox on the radio. Pretty cool pick. Those are actually kind of cool. I've never seen them in person. 1989... Tops, Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz, Gary Sheffield. Of course, the Griffey from 89 Tops is in Tops Traded. All right. Tom Kelly, Nick Kosecki, Kirk Gibson, Doc Gooden. Shout out to those back pages. O.D.B. McDowell. I feel like I've seen this guy in, like, everyone's openings. Doug Sisk. Jerry Reed, Company Store. Is this a rookie? I can't, I'm not sure if that's a rookie. Company Store, he's either 88 or 89, so this might be a second year Company Store. Mike Capel, Alvin Davis, Del Mahorkic, Greg Harris, Bob Boone. That's got to be 
Aaron and Bob Boone's dad, right? Looks just like him. I don't know, though. Twins leaders, that is a hideous card. Why would you just white out? That is terrible. Jerry Brown, L leader. Can't pitch forever. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're looking at trash. This is what I was kind of hoping for. 89, Don Russ. Thanks again to Fluby, a collector. He gave me this box to give away, which is super awesome of him. Everyone's in this. Griffey, Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz, Gary Sheffield, and Kurt Schilling. I love these. These are cool. Not this. I just love 89 Don Russ. The checklist is hard to top. Mike Campbell, Doug Desenso, Kevin Mitchell, Randy Kramer. Ugh, totally, dude. Bruce Benedict, Jeff Reed. Hmm. According to my calculations, uh, he's going to throw me a 2-0 count slider, and I'm going to hit it at 38 degrees plane. Mm. Dave Leiper, John Costello, Bruce Ruffin, Raphael Ramirez, Sean Hillegas, Jeff Kunkel, Jeff Kinkel, Greg Minn, Wallace Johnson. Man, this, these suck. This is garbage. Complete garbage. Um, <clears throat> 93 tops. Obviously, we're looking for the Jeter. But um, I'm not just saying this. If I hit the Jeter, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> If I hit the Jeter, I, I'm not saying, I shouldn't say I'll be upset. I'll be annoyed that uh, one of you guys didn't hit it. And I'll probably just end up having to give it away so nobody thinks I scammed or something. I don't even know how I would. I'm not smart enough. These are, seem like they're resealed or something. Shady. He's just kind of open weird. So we're looking for the Jeter. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else is in there. So I think watching how people do this, well, that's not Jeter, so who cares? All right. I'm not sure if anyone else is in this. Rick Sutcliffe. These are just a real kind of classy design. What the, what the hell is going on here? like doing yoga on deck circle. I really like um, the design of these. These are really clean, kind of underappreciated. Dave Winfield, Kevin Seitzer, Brett Butler. My gold is Mike Pagliaro. Pag Pagliarulo? Pagliarulo. I'm looking to pick up the Jeter in this. I feel like it's kind of undervalued right now, but you got to be quick. Although, since I've looked at it, it's, like, gone up a third. Rafi Palmero. Xavier Hernandez. Doug Drabeck. Danny Tartable. Scott Champarino. Dan Pasqua. Hit sweet glasses. Steve Wilson. Rich DeLucha. And Greg Hibbard. So, no Jeter. Kind of a relief. Um... I just got a mysterious message from uh, Bowman, 1951. He um, he asked me what the best card that I've seen pulled out of a junk trunk was. And he said he's uploading his video, but he didn't tell me... Um, he didn't tell me what he got. So hopefully he pulled a Griffey. Because I feel like we need a good one. I'll just do a quick recap of the ones that I set aside... In reverse order. Andres Galarraga. Eddie Murphy. Greg Madukes. Jeff in I was like, who is Jeff Innes? Why is he in this deck? Oh, yeah, that's why. Oh, dude, totally wicked bummer, bruh. David Wells. John Olerud, rookie. That's... Definitely my best hit, and if you recall, I said I hope this remains my best hit. Uh, Jim Abbott. Steve Jeltz. Kirby Puckett. Andre Dawson. 
Ozzie Smith. Great play against what's clearly the pitcher. Juan Gonzalez. Randy Johnson, insert no-hit club. Jim Abbott again. Ricky Henderson. Rookie of Milt Coiler. Not that funny, but kind of funny. Sean Green, rookie. Sport Flex, that's cool. Darren Jackson. I'm the only person in the world who thinks that's cool. Doc Gooden. Playing the field, apparently. Randy Kramer. Ugh. Kevin Mitchell. Oh. Dave Winfield. And Rafi Palmero. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, there will be an episode three. Um, finalizing the lineup now. Trying to figure out kind of... Trying to figure out, you know, that balance... The balance between value and interesting stuff you can pull, um, it's hard. It, it, I really deliberate over it. I spend time trying to figure out, you know, you might think if you've opened these or if you've watched people open them and they've been upset about what they've gotten, you might think, wow, that's a crappy product. But I, I'll tell you what, it's the best version that I could come up with. So there would be crappier iterations of that had I gone through with it. But I kind of deliberate, go back and forth on it. And um, so that, that lineup will be up in the next few days. I had a few people ask if there's any way that they could receive notifications on when the next junk trunk will be out so they can get it before it sells out. Um, go on the site, so stovesports.com. At the top, you can put your uh, email address in. I'm not going to spam. I, I don't have the energy or I don't think there would be a reward for me spamming you. But I will send out an email. Hey guys, um, the new junk trunk is live. So this way you don't have to watch my videos, which is always a plus. I appreciate you guys watching. I did this in under 18 minutes, and I didn't complain. Try to do that next time. You know what, actually, open, open the junk trunk how you want. If you want to just rail on me the whole time, fine, do it. Spent half an hour just railing on me. Just going through. Alright guys. I'll catch you in another video. Goodbye.